want to ask you today, who is the world's best escape artist? Have you heard of escape artists? You know, the guys who handcuff themselves and put themselves in straight jackets and then try and get out. Well, I'm going to reveal who is the greatest ever escape artist today. We're going to go through our top five first of all. Anybody recognise this fella down here? He's the most famous of the lot, really, but I've got him down at number five. Okay, from the, uh, the early 1900s. It is, of course, I'll give you his, his first name, Tari. Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini, there we go, Harry Houdini. All right? <laughs> you see him there being lowered into a, a vault of water, and he famously escaped that, and it was a great event, and everybody was applauding, thought, here we go, what an amazing escape artist. People think of escape artists, they think of Harry Houdini, but there's someone even better than him. He was, uh, he died in uh, 1926, October the 31st on Halloween, interestingly enough. Uh, and he was going to do a buried alive trick. He was going to get buried alive and he was going to try and escape from it. And that was going to be his next show. But unfortunately he died before that and didn't get a chance to do it. But the bronze casket that he was going to get uh, put in for that ended up being uh, the actual coffin for him when he was transferred from Detroit to New York for his funeral. So there we go. But one man who did manage to succeed in the buried alive trick was this fella called Alan Allen. All right, so good, they named him twice. Alan Allen, I actually taught them Alan Allen. Not this Alan Allen, a different Alan Allen. I don't know why he was called Alan Allen either. But uh, anyway, he, uh, he did succeed in doing the buried alive trick, but only just. <laughs> he nearly died, and that's why he became so famous, because everybody talks about how he nearly died in this trick. But he also did this way. He doused rope with petrol, set it alight, and he had to get out before, he had to escape from his straight jacket before the, the rope burnt through and he crashed to his death. So he managed to succeed in doing that. He invented that particular trick. But he's not the, the world's best escape artist. What about number three? Anybody recognize her? It is Dorothy Dietrich. And uh, she, as you see her there, she's done the old straight jacket upside down Bernie rope trick as well. Uh, she's the first woman to do that. But she also invented the catching the bullet in your mouth trick, which is pretty impressive, isn't it? So there's a, a great escape artist, but she's not the world's best escape artist. Who've got at number two? This fella, anybody recognize him? They should recognize him, because he's the, he's the only one who's still alive out of all these guys. Um, it is David Blaine. Did a lot of street magic, and then he started becoming greater escape artist stuff. He famously stayed in uh, a box for 40 days without any food, suspended near Tower Bridge in London. And uh, he also did this trick, or he tried to do this trick. He tried to encase himself in ice for 72 hours. Whichever among you will work out that's three full days. He didn't make it. After 63 days, he was waving to come out, and it took him ages to get him out of a chainsaw, uh, with a chainsaw, trying to carve away the ice to get to him. And he was in hospital for a month afterwards. Uh, so it, but he's still the second best escape artist, because he, he tries the deadly and it's nearly cost him his life. But he's not the world's best escape artist. David Blaine, no. So who is it? So we said it's not Harry Houdini. It's not Alan Allen. It's not Dorothy Dietrich. It's not David Blaine. Who is the world's best escape artist? Shall I tell you? It's the person who came out of there. He escaped from that. He escaped from his own tomb. He escaped from his own grave. Who was it? It was, of course, the Lord Jesus, the greatest escape artist of all time. Now, why do I tell you this? Why do I tell you about this fellow? I'll tell you why I tell you about Jesus. Because his escape from the grave, his escape from the tomb, gives us hope. It shows that we can also escape from the tomb as well. And do you know how we do it? We come to faith in him we come to faith in jesus christ we accept that he is who he said he was the son of god we accept that he is god and we, we we come to him and we say sorry for the wrong things that we've done and he forgives us and those sins go off us they're cleansed so that when we die we can go to perfect heaven because we've been made perfect by the blood of Jesus, the greatest escape artist ever, the only one who ever beat the grave.
Now, is that some hope that you would like today, people of Southport? I pray that it is. And if you want to take some John's Gospels off me, you can read about that famous resurrection and how Jesus beat the grave so that you too, you can too. So please do come and take some of these off me. Thank you.